Yo, what's good with you? In today's video, I got the how to make a weight system. This video was requested to me by one of my subscribers in my Discord server and stuff. So yeah, it's gonna be a very simple video. Video probably gonna take like five, five, seven minutes and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support you guys are showing the channel. I really do appreciate it. On the way to nine thousand subscribers, and let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay. Oh, also, I think this is actually the first video of March. I mean, of May. I think I honestly don't know if it is. Then what's up you know it's may if it's not then we'll keep pushing but anyway let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so the first thing first we're going to actually we don't need a server or sorry we don't need a local script we actually only need a server script and we don't need a remote event and stuff so it's not gonna this i'm saying this video is not gonna take as long as most of my other videos do but yeah so let's go ahead and head on over to server storage you're gonna insert a folder you're gonna name that folder you're gonna rename it to wait folder as the name implies it's going to um have the weights for different objects different items and stuff in your game then you're going to insert a number value you're going to set the name of the value to whatever the name of the object slash item is so here's here's how i said i made the system i made the system tool based because i would 100 percent assume in you guys games that um this player's picking up tools it's either them picking it up in their in their backpack slash inventory or it's them equipping it i made it so that it slows them down when they equip the item but if you want to see how to um slow them down just by like having it in their inventory like their backpack then i can show you guys that in part two if y'all want but anyway so here so let's get some items i'm gonna go to the toolbox i was looking at that for another video um but anyway so let's go ahead and get like some random items so i just i really just need tools that's really just i just need tools so i'm really just gonna get the same ones i had before so i'm just gonna get three i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a flashlight an axe and then the, the whole point is you don't want to put them inside of um you can use any tool you want by the way you don't want to put them inside a starter pack because you want to pick them up and stuff well i mean you could put them inside a pack but i just prefer just for the more live demonstration since it's like in a real game players would be you know picking picking them up if your game has a weight system i would assume it's like a realistic type of survival game where like players are you know picking stuff up and like the wild and stuff but yeah so we have our three items i'm just go ahead and like delete just the unnecessary just the unnecessary things just things we don't need so you know all the scripts and stuff um yeah i'm delete all the scripts and stuff boom right and then if like i just oh didn't mean to delete that all right so we have all our tools right so then let's set our names accordingly the names have to match the name of the tools so axe so uh i'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the tool out and just leave it as axe so and then for the value you're going to set it as the weight we're going to we're going to um subtract the weight of the current the item that is currently equipped we're going to subtract that minus the what's well, going to be sorry it's going to be the walk speed minus whatever the equipped items weight is stuff so for example um the roblox default walk speed is 16 so if you have an axe equipped and let's set the axe walk let's set the axe weight to like four and stuff i'm not going by any measurements i'm not doing like pounds kilogram, uh, kilograms none of that i'm just just setting it to four right you guys can set the values to whatever you want so it would be 16 the walk my player's walk speed minus four if i have the axe equipped which you know would be 12 right and then i'm just going to make a value for each individual item so we have axe then we have the flashlight which you know a flashlight is much lighter so we'll just cut it down in half and then for the last item i have my torch which i feel like is kind of in between it's like I me mean, like a like a three right but yeah there we go we have all of our items inside of the weight folder now we can move to server script service and insert a server script you guys can go ahead and re rename the script to weight script boom we can delete print hello world and then we can go ahead and create only one variable outside of the function we're going to need to create a variable for the weight folder so local weight folder is equal to game that server storage wait for child wait folder then I'm going to set up the function for when players join. I'm going to say game that players that player added connect the function in parentheses put PLR which is for the player then enter. You're then going to create the weight value. So local weight is equal to instance that new in quotation marks. You're going to put number value parent this to the player. Then you're going to say weight that name is of course equal to weight in quotation marks. Then you're going to say weight to that value by default should be equal to zero unless you want to set it to something. It's up to you. Then I'm going to create a variable for our original character. So local character is equal to player dot character, right? All right, better yet, let's do it like this. Yeah, let's do. I'm gonna rename it to actually original character. I didn't do it like this before, but I don't know what I don't know what this thing is doing. Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna turn it off because it gets a little annoying. 
but original character right is equal to player dot character so just to explain the difference um we're gonna have original character then our actual then like our continue continuous or continuing character what i mean by that is when you first join the game right you have your character but then when you die every time you die you it's a new character it's a new instance now player is different because like you know your player can never die the only thing that can ever happen to like your player getting removed from the instances when you leave the game right so yeah every time you die then um then you get a new character instance so i'm gonna have to say uh let me do like this actually let me do um let me do like this workspace wait for child player dining. we'll change it to that right then i'm gonna say original character dot mm, no not that wait Oh, sorry, sorry. I had it backwards. We're gonna say for the first for the first function, we're gonna say child added. This is the, literally the first time I ever used this function. Connect function. Then in parentheses, you're going to put tool. It's just gonna be whatever instance is added to the child to the uh, character. So of course we have to first check to make sure it is a tool. So I'm gonna say if tool. That thing is so annoying. I swear to God. If tool is you know a tool. Enter. You're then gonna say if wait folder find first child tool that name so not only do we have to double check to make sure it's a tool we, have to, we also have to make sure it's uh it's weight is classified in the um is given to us in the weight folder right so if we can find it then enter and they're going to say weight dot value is plus equal weight folder regular brackets tool dot name then on the outside do dot value right and then boom pretty simple and then you're just going to copy and paste this it's going to save ourselves a whole bunch of time control c control v then of course you're going to change this to child removed and then you're going to change the plus sign to an equal sign and then we're going to move on to the third function and then we're just going to copy it all into a new function so now i'm going to set the function for whenever a player is moving so that we can update their walk speed so i'm going to say original character dot humanoid dot running connect function Close parentheses, enter. You're then going to say original character that humanoid dot walk speed. Now to make it clear, you're going to set whatever your default game walk speed is. So for me, it's just gonna be the regular Roblox 16, but you guys will set that to whatever your uh default walk speed is. So for me, 16, then I'm gonna say character dot humanoid dot walk speed is less than equal to weight dot value so it'll update it every time and then now we're just going to copy and paste all that inside of another function we're going to say player dot character added connect function and parentheses you're going to put character now this function is going to keep track of all of the characters instances after this and stuff so we don't really so we literally don't have to worry about we literally, we literally don't have to worry about uh any new character instances it'll this this second function will cover everything the reason why we have to break it up into two functions that are just having this one is because when the player first joins this function isn't uh triggered since like technically the character i guess the best way to put it is like the character loads before this function is able to be triggered i guess i don't, I don't really know the best way to put it but i just know we have to do it like this and stuff or at least to my knowledge that's how we have to do it but anyway save ourselves a whole bunch of time just Control C, copy everything we did there. Control V, I left a little space here. And then boom, just like that, guys, we are done. Let's go ahead and test to make sure it works. As always, if you guys want access to any one of my scripts and models, you guys can become either your channel member or your Discord subscriber. Link to either one of those options can be found in the description if you're interested. Let's go ahead and, t I just realized they have a light. But anyway, let's go ahead and test. If I open up my character and then I go to humanoid, scroll all the way down to walk speed, you guys will see by default it's 16. And then, oh, I did not mean to do that. So you guys will see by default it is 16. Now if I walk up, walk over and pick up the torch, you'll oh there you go. You'll notice it, it went down to 13. That's the phenomenal little bit slower now. Now if I unequip the item, it goes back to its regular default. And if I pick up the flashlight, it'll change and send me to 14. But if I pick up the axe, it'll send me back to 12. Because it's all based on the weights I put I inputted in uh, the weight folder for each value, each individual value. So yeah, this is a weight system. If you want me to like add more stuff to it and stuff, you can leave suggestions in the comments and stuff. I will for sure make a part two um, if the video gets an enough love. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Appreciate all y'all for watching.